What's up everybody, it's your boy Wes Grant, you're watching Sub Urban Nerd, this is the channel where I give my reviews on today's nerd news, but also give reviews on movies, and today's movie we're going to be doing a review on is The House with the Clock in Its Walls. Um, this movie is starring Jack Black and Kate Blanchett. This movie was, not say under the radar, but not everyone was like clamoring for it or whatever, you know, people more clamoring for a goosebumps too but hey that's happening a little bit later and i don't even think it has zach black in it but this movie i went in it with low expectations but i came out pretty pleasantly you know surprised because this movie wasn't bad it was pretty good uh the the best things about this movie was the chemistry between jack black and kate blanchett and if you don't know what this movie is about the premise is pretty much a young boy lewis he loses his parents in a, an accident and uh, he gets sent to Jonathan, who's his uncle, Jack, played by Jack Black, and he gets sent to him to live with. And Jack Black lives in a house that isn't haunted, but it is magical. Only thing is, inside the walls is a clock that keeps annoying and it's ticking down to something we don't know. And the clock was put in it by its former owner, a friend of his, who actually died practicing some dark magic and left this clock counting down to they don't know what. So, going forward with this thing, uh, the, the, the cast of the boy, Lewis, and Jack Black's character, Jonathan, they, you see like a, you know, like a relationship develop between them, the uncle and the kid. And he's an uncle that pretty much doesn't know how to raise kids because he tells them right off the bat, there are no rules here. You can eat candy, you can eat cookies for dinner, you stay up until whatever time you want. But luckily, this kid is, uh, he was raised right and he has a lot of rules. He's sort of a nerd in a way. And he wears these goggles, which, you know, rem reminds me of, like, animes where, like, these, these little kids will, like, wear these goggles or some crazy thing, sort of like Naruto or, or uh, you know, like, these other kids in these, in these animes. But this kid is, like, you know, nerdy, but no one picks him for anything. But eventually he starts learning magic from his uncle Jonathan, and then that's when life starts getting a little bit better for him. He actually, at some point, develops a friend, but, you know... I'm not going to spoil a few, but the friend isn't what you think he is. And uh, the rest of the story is sort of mediocre. Uh, there's nothing that stands out. These characters, sure, we love the, the back and forth banter between Jack Black and Kate Blanchett that you see in, a, in the commercials and the trailers. But other than that, there's not much substance that makes you really remember this movie far after it's gone. Uh, the main villain, played by Kyle McCl uh, McClellan, McClellan. McClacklin? McClacklin. Yeah, Kyle McClacklin. Uh, he, if you guys don't remember him, if you, when you see him, I was like, who is this guy? I know I've seen him before. And he's Daisy's father from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. The one that, you know, turned to like, what was it? J Hyde and Jekyll and Hyde or something like that? Yeah, that was him. But his role in this movie was very minimal. Like, you hear about him, but you don't see him till the last, the last third of the movie. Or even if it's the third, last quarter of the movie. And then that's when all of a sudden things are going crazy. And you just got this kid trying to save everybody with them. And with the magic that he learns. And, you know, their whole time they're saying, the, lurch, the magic, got to make it your own. Got to make it your own and learn how to do it or talk to yourself. And you already know that at the, at the end, you know, this kid's going to figure out a way to stop the bad guy. And he does it. And it's, I'm not going to say it's, uh, how you say, not... You know, but he does it. He does it, and he takes him out, and you're like, okay, that's cool. But it's nothing really. You don't really feel the major stakes in it. You understand it's a dire situation, and uh, they they do do make as far as the uh, the levity of this movie because it's supposed to be sort of like a horror and sort of like a comedy, and they do find a decent balance of it not you know being too dire, but at the same time it's it's like you know for kids. They can enjoy it. It's not, but there's never any scary moments really. Uh, the most is when like a pigeon or bat flies out of the area. But other than that, there's no real scary moments to it. So it's not really a horror. There's a lot more comedy in it than you know any other thing. And uh, the humor is decent. The humor is decent. I find myself chuckling here and there. But overall, like I said, from beginning to end, there isn't nothing that really stands out to you. The main guy, bat, the bad guy at the end, he pops up at very minimal time, so you don't really get invested in him. You keep hearing about him, but you're not invested in, like, you're not worried or threatened about him that much. And by the time it ends, you're like, okay, you're not really, you're not looking forward to, what do you say, a sequel? But you did enjoy the movie for the most part. So that's pretty much my review. If I had to give it a grade, I'd probably give it a, a 
write a middle C because it was sort of mediocre. It wasn't nothing crazy. It didn't disappoint me because I didn't have any high expectations. I had low expectations. So I went in and it entertained me. It had a good amount of humor. Jack Black, I loved seeing him and Kate Blanchett. In fact, I could have watched more of that back and forth banter between them more than the rest of the movie with uh, the kid Lewis. So overall, like I said, a C right in the middle. If you guys have kids, I say bring it to this thing because it is pretty enjoyable if you know for the kids at least. Uh, for the adults, you'll enjoy the back and forth banter between Kate Blanchett and Black Jack Black. So. That's one thing you can look forward to if you go see if you're going to take someone with it. So if you have the A-list, which I do, I'd recommend going to see it. If you don't have the A-list and you don't have kids, I would say kind of hold off on it. But like I said, if you have kids, go ahead and take it. They'll probably enjoy the movie. So that's pretty much my review. Remember to comment down below. Uh, put down those notifications. Because I love talking about everything that, you know, that any reviews. If you have your opinion on this movie, let me know what you think about it. Because I definitely would love to hear about it. Um, remember to subscribe, check out my last review, and check out my, uh, my playlist of my movie reviews. And remember, I'm Chris Grant, you've been watching Suburban Nerd, and you've just been Nerdified. Catch you guys on the next movie review.